Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Caldonio Calcio, episode 9. Today, despite the beautiful league table where we are absolutely flying, we are taking on Calgary in the Coppa Italia. Now, they are top of Serie B. So, they got relegated in the first season. They are top, just lost one game. We are away, so our chances are we're going to get beat. But I thought it was a good game to play to see where we're at. As you can see, league form is fantastic. Average ratings very high. Goal scorers are plenty. We have tweaked the tactic. I'll show you where. So the last game we played was Juventus under 23s. So the run has been very impressive. We did, after the Juventus, we did suffer a 2-1 defeat. Um, didn't play well at all. It was just one of those games that you'll probably get every so often where you're just, you're just terrible. Since then, we have responded with straight wins. The only sort of like defeat that was actually drawn, we lost on penalties. I always like to win a cup. I wanted to go for, they were poor, we were poor. It was a pretty terrible game, to be honest. And we lost on pens, despite having two opportunities to win the game on pens, we ended up losing. So, we did a little change in tactic. We started conceding a couple of goals, though. So, we've done a little change where, not not so much, we did have sort of like Karmalenko, Karamoko in there, and then we were playing with a deep line playmaker at one point, playing with no right winger, and then we went 44. So we've just gone back to this with a pressing forward, advance forward. Um, playing one up front weren't really suiting us, mainly because we've got Fabro and Nagisa who are playing really well, and it did mean that one of them would have to go into these outside roles, and it was them meaning Coley or Salvamini would miss out, who's done very well so far this season. So I, I didn't think it suited as well. So we've done that. We've dropped that down to a deep line playmaker and then we've brought Kamoka back in front of the back four just to hopefully to give us a little bit more strength in the middle of the park, deeper, not to expose our centre halves as much. Obviously, look, one, two, three, three clean sheets in a row. Going pretty well. Going pretty well. I think for the cup game we made plenty of changes as well. So let's get into it. Obviously, we had that great result against Bologna in the first in the first round or second round, whatever it was. I wonder if there's any money. I know you get a bit of money for actually winning the competition. We're only in the qualifying round, so... Shit, we get half a million squid for playing in this. Half, oh, no, that's the first round. We get nine grand for playing in this. Brilliant. But money's not an issue to us. Board are absolutely delighted with us because we've made such a big impact in Serie C. I still don't think, I think the two teams, be it Specio Calcio, Specio Calcio, whatever they call them, Brescia, are going to be hot on our coat, coat tails, coat tails, is it, all the way through the season. So I can still imagine us sort of like finishing third, if anything. I don't know if we've got the, the quality to sustain it, but we will see. We will see. An early chance for Calgary, and we've survived. Here we go. Novello, we are decent from set pieces. He's gone by himself this time and didn't get enough whip on it. Who have they got playing? Barella. Not a bad player. Person to have in your team, is it? Here we've got Fabro. De Guidi, who's still... Ooh. I'm finding that a lot in this game. Deep line playmakers I seem to be doing a lot of that, where they kind of slip and lose the ball. That's happened. I've just streamed on Twitch for a couple of hours, and that happened three times in two games. So that's four times now that's happened to me today. Just a little slip and loss of possession with a deep line playmaker. And we are one down, but we're getting, we're having, we're getting shots off. And we've equalised. Nagisa, goalkeeper's had an absolute mare there. Came out, trying to come out for the ball. Nagisa's got above him. Bush nodded it in. 11th of the season. And we are level. Here we go. They're going to respond straight away. We blocked it. We've done well. Let's get out and press. Get out and press. Get out and press. Get out and press. What a tackle that is. Kamoko. Karamoko. Gunuki. And he's found Fabro. What an attack. What a break. What a goal. And we're 2-1 up, boys. We are 2-1 up. Great tackle from Kamoko. Gunukuri found Fabro. That'll be a silent G, won't it? Nukuri will go for. And a highlight straight after the goal, which is worrying. 
Can we defend well? Can we defend well? Castro, it's going to be over. That's all right. We can take that. Take that. Can I make it through to half time? They're overwhelmed by my uh, instructions to concentrate. So we're going to hopefully make it to half time here. Full value, I think. Even game. We'll get straight into the second half. A couple of times I've tried to drop it back and gone defensive, and it's really worked against me. Especially in FM19. I've not found a really good shutting out tactic as yet. Here we go. Oh, that was a free header. Free header. And we've got to be careful because Karamoka's on a booking. I think we may look at doing a sub. Let's get De Silly on. You know, Karamoka's had a great game. I am looking for a, another ball winning midfield to play in front of the back four. Nagisa's in. Nagisa's in. And Nagisa has scored another counter attack from us. That came from their free header. It should have been 2 2. It is now 3 1. What we're going to do is we're just going to put it on caution. We're going to keep the same shape. <clears throat> Let's get Guido off. Let's get Carter in there. Still playing De Guido. We haven't really found a... While we can get away with playing the youngster in there, I think it's good for him, good for his development. Hopefully. He's still 16 years old, look. Potential five-star. Not sure if he's going to be City at quality, but he's still 16 years old. He's got a long way left of developing. He'll be with us definitely definitely for most of the journey. If not all, it'd be great if we could keep a player all the way through and to have played in every single league. There's not going to be many that are going to be able to do that for us. Novella. Disili. We don't want to concede now. Let's do one last little sub, just for a second. Let's get Silia on. We're starting to overplay with it a bit, maybe a little bit. Kata. He's going to find Fabro he has. It's been tackled. We're getting a ball back. Here we go. Colly Kebet. He's had a really good impact for us. Marotti. Oh, he's lost the ball. Let's get back and defend then. We've let them take it down. That's shite. That's shite. That's shite. Just watch the centre half. Something that needs to be sorted out in the match engine. Just a centre half, just watching the ball completely. I know we're at a low level, but that's ridiculous. You wouldn't expect under under eights to do that. Just stand and watch the let the other person go through. Oh no, 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 no! Come on! Not letting this slide. That hopefully should be it, and we're rolling it out. <laughs> We've done it. We have done it. We have beaten Calgary. Another scalp and the journey goes on. Now that means that we get into the first round of the cup, which I think is somewhat stupid, like the last 16. Minimum of next round of appearance money, 500k as well, which is always nice because we are going to lose, we will lose another good couple of million pound this season due to our massive scouting network. What a performance though. Right, the draw has been made. We have drawn Roma in the cup. Now it's only in a couple of games time. I'm not going to play it because we're away, and it's highly like that, we're going to get turned over three or four. I do really want to progress, because we're only doing one episode a week of this. I do really want to crack on with the season. So what I'll probably do is crack on. What we will do is we'll crack on with a couple more games, and then we're going to play a double header, Spezia Calcio and Brescia Calcio. They're playing games back-to-back. -back. We do have a bit of a gap. There's a bit of a gap there with the winter break as well. So it's one before the winter break, one after the winter break. And... If you can see by the league, it's going to be a big game. Novara up there as well. Especially Calcio, just starting to lose a bit of pace. We've got PNZ Calcio, who we've got before that. So we've got some very, very big games coming up. But we will take that. The winner gets through the quarterfinals. You never know. You never know. But what an opportunity for us to play AS Roma. I said a minimum of five hundred. No, so is it 450 grand? Which in the finances... Would be even big. We have got a lot of money in the bank, but we are losing money. We lost 1.2 million last year. We lost 809,000 last year. So we have to be still a little bit careful with the money that's, that we spend. Any any money that comes in helps us. It will help us if we ever get into Syria B and Syria A. So them Syria Bs, if we can have this sort of, sort of like money left in the bank, it may help us get a really good couple of two or three really good strong players in for next season if we do end up getting promoted. At the moment, in the level that we're at, we get away with wheeling and dealing free transfers, but we might just need to purchase maybe one, two, three really strong players, especially with the loans. We are relying heavily on loans as well. That 
not necessarily will get back the following season. And also, some of these might not be good enough. How many players have we actually got on loan? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What, nine players on loan? So that's obviously and a lot of important players for us as well. So we're going to have to be careful of that. We might even be able to get some of them permanent deals. You never know. Right, guys, that is it for today. So next week, we'll come back double header. Hopefully, what's our league run like? Oh, we've got shit. So the next few games, after the Roma game, we've got Navarra, who are third. Uh, Piazenza, that are fifth. Sp Special Calcio, Spez Spezia. I'm going to have to learn that name. Uh, Spezia Calcio, who are second. Brescia, who are fourth. Third, fifth, second, fourth. Hopefully, we'll still be top of the league for the next episode. Hopefully, we'll be still top. Anyway, if you've enjoyed today's episode, if you've enjoyed us beating Calgary, please drop a like in there. Subscribe to the channel. And this, we will see you next Thursday for the top of the table double header. Meanwhile, on the channel, lots of things going on. Saturday, you've got the Flamenco series. Sunday, you've got the United series. I'm also streaming now on Twitch. I stream Tuesday, uh, sorry, Thursday mornings. Just streamed this morning. And I'm also streaming, if you're watching this tonight, the day it comes out Thursday night, I am streaming tomorrow morning, just for about an hour and a half, carrying on with my bolt and save over on Twitch. It'd be great if you could jump across and drop a follow. If not, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.